Hey, y'all, it's your boy, Candy, and, um, you're now tuned in to Beauty with Candy. And like I always say, I ain't a hairstylist, I ain't a nail tech, I ain't a makeup artist. I'm just a bitch out here trying to pull some niggas off. I have to learn a few things along the way. And if that works for you, then stay tuned. Um. Okay, so we're going to get started with the coloring on this unit. This is a sponsorship hair video. This unit was sponsored by Sealy Hair. This is a 13 um, by 4 frontal, 30 inch, very full density, 200 density. One of the first thing I noticed about this unit, as soon as I pulled it out of the packaging, was how full it was. Um, I was going to rock it all black, but I really don't like black hair like that. So, I was like, let me just throw some, like, you know, some highlights in it. You know, I'm trying to go for, like, a Sierra Beyonce illusion. You know, um, nothing too light, but just, you know, we, we definitely trying to go in. So, I'm just going in right now. I started out with 20 developer because I'm, like, being that this hair was in the back, I wanted some of the hair to stay darker. I wanted some, like, you know like dark brown light brown medium browns and all that so i'm like well let me start with the 20 developer so while i'm dying the other hair it doesn't move too fast as i move up i am going to be going in with um 40 developer to speed it up at the top um yeah so i only did two rounds of bleaching um this one and then i went in again another round doing the same thing after washing it and um conditioning it i did condition it in the middle because you know at the end of the day I, other than processing the hair you do want to protect it and make sure you try to keep it you know in a healthy state so i did condition it in between bleachings but i'm yeah i'm pretty self-explanatory i'm gonna let you guys get into it and then tap back in when i need to okay um. Here she goes, all bleached out. Um, as y'all can see, I didn't really touch the roots like that. The second round, I am kind of gonna, I'm gonna go up higher a little bit on the root, but um, yeah. Here go the second round.
Now, okay, this is pretty much what she gives. A bleached, a deep conditioned, and pressed out. Um, yeah, and here goes the hairline already pre-customized. Um, plugged, bleach notched, of course. Um, the whole nine yards, I did this off camera. Um, that's obviously after, this is before, you know. So all we gotta do is just go in with the plucking. Um, Comment below if y'all want me to do a detailed plucking video, because it's like a whole specific way I do that. But I um, mean, yeah, so we're gonna go in with plucking, and then we're just going to be ready for our install. Um, I'm gonna do my mug and then slap this bad boy on. Um. Alrighty, so here we go. First, we're going to pop on the brow. We're going to underline it. We're going to do the top outlining part, and then we're going to fill it in and spoolie it, and then clean it up with concealer. Okay, moving along to my Jeffree Star Jawbreaker eyeshadow palette. We're going to go in with this deep blue and then we're going to soften that up with a pink and then we're going on top of that lid with a NYX milk pencil and then we're going to throw blue eyeshadow on top of that. Once I have my lid and my transition um, kind of blended out to my liking, I'm going to go in and add shimmer in my tear duct and then I'm going to add glitter on top of that and throw on my lashes. Um yeah and then after my lashes i'm also going to add that nyx milk pencil the jumbo pencil to my bottom waterline Okay, so I didn't want to do a full in-depth tutorial on my makeup, but just let you guys know what I am doing. As you guys watch, I'm going in with my pore filler. I'm going to go in with my foundation, concealer, of course, and then I'm going to bronze my face with a brown eyeshadow, set my face, and then we're going to be ready for my wig.
everybody as you can see y'all that face is baking um a wig cap is on it's lifting a little bit on the side but do not worry i'ma finesse it we're going in with two layers of glue this is the bold hold active um once those fully dry i make sure each layer dries fully um before moving forward but yeah once the glue dry we just gonna slap her on um and we're gonna tie her down before swooping the baby hair so that way when we do swoop that the lace doesn't lift up so yeah, we're gonna tie her down and then cut the lace and then swoop and then um voila I swear, I feel like a moment of truth is when you start cutting that lace and you see if she's really melted or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get into it. <laughs> So, um, yeah, right now I'm going in, I'm plucking the baby hairs a little bit. You do not want them too full. Um, I'm taking my time to really customize this and make sure she's laid down um, by just plucking, pressing down any lace that need to be, you know, pressed down. And, you know, I'm just really finalizing this illusion. As y'all can see, I'm in love with it. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm deeply, madly in love with it and how it's laying. Um don't be don't feel bad if you gotta take your time with your baby hairs it'd be taking me a minute to really slay mines but it'd be worth it in the long run sometimes the longer you take So 
yes um make sure you guys like comment and subscribe um all of the details listed for this unit will be down below um yeah it's beauty with candy um you guys can also recommend any other looks that you guys want me to do um but yeah thank y'all for tuning in um